There's two types of FICOMs out there. FICOM is fuel injected control module. There's two types out there. This is the seven pin. It came on the 03, early 04, made before September 2003. People associate them with the 03, 04 engines, but the truth is that they're actually just the first ones that came out. Even with the 03 calibration, it was this FICOM was still run any Ford V8 that's inside the F-Series of van trucks. So again, a seven pin, even though people say it's for the 0304 only, it, it, that's not necessarily true, even though the calibration may be that. So anyhow, we've got the seven pin and we want to check it for voltage. The seven pin is the exact opposite of where the four pin location is. So if you have the seven pin on yours, you just take your volt ohm meter, and remember, expect it could be up to say 58, 60 volts. So we want to put it on a voltage direct current, put this on our ground, and on the seven pin here, I changed the screw color, this, they don't look this way, but we're going to test it, and this is the way it would be on the, in the vehicle too. And I have a whole separate video on this if you need to see it, actually testing them on the videos. I have a video testing this four pin and the seven pin. But when you have it, just you take it on your voltmeter, make sure you do not contact the sides. Don't lay it here and touch it, because if you do, you're going to burn it out. So be real careful with your cover off and touch it up here. So when this is in the vehicle, underneath your degas bottle, it's the top one on the row of four on the seven pin. And then it's just the opposite on the four pin. Now just a little bit to cover the four pin. The four pin is a 2004 and up. That's the way it came out. But also, if you go to Ford and try to order one or get one, they no longer make the seven pin. So whatever you get, you'll get a four pin. The four pin is the replacement of the seven pin. And what matters is the calibration. There's an 0304 calibration, that's one. 04 alone, made after September of 03, September 24th, 29th, somewhere around there. I've seen it as late as October 11th, 03. But then you have the 04 until it came out with the 05 style. And then you have 05 and up calibration. So, but anyhow, when you're checking the voltage, again, the four pins on the bottom one, uh, here down here, and the seven pin will be on the top. And the best time to check the voltage, if it starts, then you want to check it cold at 2000 RPMs. That's when it's underneath the most stress. If it won't start, you want to check it during the injector pre-cycle clatter. That's the second most time of stress. So when you turn the key on and the injectors are clicking, that's when you want to have your voltmeter on it. It'll take two people, somebody to help you out. Or you can take this screw out, put a little eyelid on there and, a, and a, run a wire in and check if you want to do it by yourself. I've seen guys do that. But anyhow, so that's how you would check the FICOM voltage with just a volt ohm meter. I have other videos showing how to remove the FICOM, but one of the things I'd strongly suggest, especially as these things are getting older, if you don't want to break the hose down here underneath the degas bottle, underneath your coolant bottle, just drain it. I've already drained this one. I'm going to take the coolant bottle all the way out. If you have a bucket, you can put it underneath there and then take your coolant bottle out. That way you don't stress your hose. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the coolant bottle out and then take the FICOM out and swap it out. On removing the FICOM, the only pointers I can give you is if you have the option, the hotter the better. So, But if it's in the colder months, you know, maybe the garage or something. But again, the hotter the better to do it. But the, as far as doing it here, what I do is I lift up on the corner of it. I reach underneath here. I grab both ends and I rock it, pull it out, put the put up on top of there. Same way with the second one. Put it on top. And then with the third, same thing. Put them on top. Now then lift the module out. Okay, to do the install, we're gonna put the wires down. We're gonna guide the back one on. Reach underneath it with both hands and push it up in there. In the same way, I'm going to work up with the next one. I'm going to feel it, line it up, shove it in. I'm hearing the click. That way I know it's seated. In the same way here with the next one. Push it up and have them in. Now we'll go ahead and do some more testing, watching the voltage and listening to the injector's pulse.